guys welcome back to our youtube channel hey guys in today's video we are going to be talking about in uh, university of the people and i'm going to be comparing written assignment and discussion assignment what is the difference between written assignment and discussion assignment what's that thing that makes it so different from written assignment and discussion assignment all right so in today's video we are actually going to be looking that okay but before i continue if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you still waiting for go right now and hit on the subscribe button ensure that you like this video after you have watched it don't forget to leave a question okay because i know when we all watch we all have this question that is popping in our mind don't forget to leave it at the comment question i'm definitely going to answer all your questions all right so now we are going to be looking at written assignment discussion assignment now with written assignment know that there is a similarity between written assignment and discussion assignment because it is all marked by our peer okay it's peer-to-peer -peer rating okay peer-to-peer -peer rating means that it is your classmate that will actually be marking your work same with written assignment it is your peer discussion assignment it is your peer but now the difference there is that you do not see who is marking your assignment you do not see who whose assignment you are actually rating but when you come to discussion assignment you see whose assignment you are rating but when it's written assignment oh my god the names are off okay the names are off you do not know whose assignment you are actually reading whose assignment you're actually commenting on whose assignment you're actually rating okay but when it comes to discussion assignment you definitely will see the persons if it's if i'm rating let's say vanessa's assignment i'm definitely going to see vanessa's name there but if we're to be written assignment i will not see but it, if it is discussion assignment i will definitely see the person i am rating now another difference is that with written assignment you have up to the last day to actually edit your work okay let's say for instance if the due date it's thursday 5 p.m okay and maybe you posted the assignment on Sunday. Now, just know that we still have a chance of editing assignment. Maybe you discover that you did something wrong and you actually want to adjust it. Okay. You still have to up to Monday. You have Tuesday. You have Wednesday. And you still have few hours on that Thursday up to the expiring time. Expiring time of the two day that you can actually edit your work. Oh my God. But when it comes to discussion assignment, let me tell you this. You have just five minutes. As... As of the time you just posted that assignment, okay, you have just five minutes to actually edit your work. If you don't edit your work by then, I'm sorry for you. There's no other way you can edit again after that five minutes. Even if you still have like Thursday, which is your due date, that due date now is left for you to actually read other people's work comment on it and actually grade it. Okay, you actually read it, comment and grade it. Okay, so you have up to you have just five minutes but when it's written assignment hopefully you're getting the difference all right when it's written assignment you have up to the expiring date to edit but when it's discussion assignment you have just five minutes as of the time you have posted the assignment okay so that's just the difference that actually exists between discussion assignment and written assignment okay then when it comes to uh, um discussion assignment actually the teacher comes in sometimes and also try to comment these blah 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 you also see some comments of the the, the instructor but when this discussion assignment you see the comments of your peer yeah the, the lecturer always only comes in when maybe there is a mistake you have called for his attention some instructors even go through uh the written assignments without the uh, peer actually calling his wife attention okay they just go through it to ensure i remember one time i had 60 or 90 and after after the expiring day i discovered after some time i discovered that the lecturer has actually worked on this assignment and i was planning to actually call his attention but after some few days i discovered that he has gone through the assignment and he has actually marked it okay and corrected upgraded it he has actually like upgraded it okay but when it comes to uh, um discussion assignment most of the time you are the one to call the attention of the 
because they believe that okay because there are three people that are marking your work so they just believe that there's no way that those three people will actually just give you want to give you a fair mark all right but when it's discussion assignment when it's written assignment it's just one person so they believe that okay the person might make a mistake so you actually call the attention of the instructor to come in and check out your work okay guys thanks so much that is just all what we have for today we have a lot about university of people to talk about if you have any question at all what are you still waiting for do study it at the comment section and i'm definitely going to be anxious thank you so much and please 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 do have a nice day bye bye